there has been an occurrence of a smeeze. Um, you don't know what smeeze is. It's a mix of smoke and haze. Um, I haven't come up with that term. Um, basically, Cebu is advising people to wear masks and not go out too much if they can help it um, due to the, this uh, sort of cloud that's covering most of the Visayas. Now, before people start jumping on the bandwagon of blaming the Philippines transport system, um, it has more to do with Indonesia than anything else. Because in Indonesia has these massive fires that are constantly ongoing at the moment, um, and they have been for some time. You uh, read about it in the media, of course, didn't you? No, no, me neither. Um, what it is is there's been alleged land clearances for um, the production of palm oil uh, which goes in a lot of the snack foods now the easiest way of clearing lots and lots of land is by flooding flooding them with fire I basically set fire to everything um, now there's a lot of stuff going on like I said, don't hear anything about the media. This is the stuff I would love to hear about rather than the X Factor finalists. Um, but big companies have been accused of manipulating things like lowering the water table, etc. So that um, when these fires start, they will continue through because normally there'd be enough water in there that would actually stop fire spreading. But for the big companies that are involved in this palm oil production, when I say big, we're not talking big, we're talking humongous, huge, giant. Um, when these fires go through, it forces people to leave the land as well. So you can see why this is quite a useful um, business opportunity by forcing people out of their homes and off their land by letting the fire spread. Now... To give you an idea of how bad it is, the CO2 produced um, by these Indonesian fires is so much, it's actually more per day uh, in CO2 than the whole of the United States production of um, industrial bits and pieces. Um, it's quite a phenomenon. Uh, <clears throat> but back to Cebu. So be aware that they're recommending you wear masks etc personally I would say check your filters on your aircon um, just be uh, aware of the problem um, filtration is normally better than a mask to be honest I mean I they say wear a mask I've wore masks in tropical heat and you end up with like looking like you you glue sniff or something because you, you sweat around the face but also it doesn't stop it getting absorbed through the skin um, which is why you know some cyclists I mean I, I'm just throwing this in there because I haven't actually researched this this is off the top of my head at the moment but I know some cyclists have connected uh, cancer with cycling not because of breathing it but absorbing it through the skin um, I don't have facts to hand which is why I'm saying I remember somebody saying this to me it's, it's, it's not actual 100% fact, I haven't gone and found it. But I put the article from The Guardian in this as well, because the reason being, you can have a look at it and then go, oh yeah, I can see where, why this is happening over the over the Versailles region. Because it's not just Cebu, by the way, it's the whole of Versailles. Um, it's like a black thick cloud has just sat over Cebu City at the moment. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do, what to do about it. I mean, what, how do you fix this? How do you fix another country's pollution dumping it on you? Um, do you do it the British way? You just send them a fine? <laughs> yeah, either way, it's a major problem. But I just thought I'd make you aware of it. I know some of you are travelling soon, so at least it's something you can prepare for, uh, especially if you suffer with asthma or something. I'll take some extra of the old meds for you because um, you could have some problems. Alright, thanks for watching.